everyone hi everyone so we were talking about these uh, odd number even number business child uh, small children games let's say uh, you that you might be studying in your grade 5 or grade 6 i don't know anyway this is important to us now so we were knowing we were aware that how to differentiate between odd number and even number by dividing by 2 and what is a remainder and blah 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 things okay so that is how we differentiate okay hold it so now in programming language if you want to find out a number is let's say x is odd number or even number then you have to divide it by 2 and you have to see what is the remainder except from the answer what is the remainder value okay let's say the answer is right then what's the remainder value if the remainder value is 1 then you will say it is an odd number sorry guys okay if you divide the number by 2 and the let's say y is the answer and there's nothing remaining that means remainder is 0 what is the remainder value if it is 0 then it the number is an even number which number x x is odd or even you will know you know the concept right now because we studied it in the previous video that's amazing right so now how to write it in the programming language <coughs> because if we take this number x okay look at this guys okay let's say you are taking number three you are, you divide by two if you divide by two program will give you the answer as 1.5 okay but we want to find it is on odd number or even number for that we cannot avoid these point values so we have to find a way okay program will understand okay one and we have the remainder as another one we have the one remainder okay so what is the way there's an operator in code in C, C plus and all. I don't know whether it is in Java or not, but in the Arduino it is there. Modulo operator. Okay. The operator is called modulo. It will look like this, the percentage symbol. Okay. So if you write it in a programming language, use this operator, then program will understand we are asking about the remainder after dividing by 2. Uh, I mean, after dividing, we are asking about the remainder, not 2, after dividing. So this means what? 3 by 2 means what? The, this is the this is the uh, uh, what do you call uh, symbol right so this is the divider dividing symbol so this actually will give 1.5 but what we want is we want the integer value and the remainder or in another words we just want the remainder because we decide this is odd or even only using the remainder because 1 no 0 1 is remainder odd 0 is remainder remainder means even number so we want to find the remainder so what is the operator for the remainder is the modulo operator percentage so how do you do it you say 3 modulo operator 2 so this Arduino will understand or system will understand what he what the owner wants is what's the owner wants is he wants to divide 3 by 2 and return the remainder value so what Arduino will do is it will divide and it will not add any point value and it will see okay one is the answer and I want to return the remainder. Okay, remainder is what? One. So this whole process will happen within this uh, arithmetic operation, within this modulo operator. Okay. So then it will return us one as the value. You understand? Okay. If we do the same thing with an even number, let's say I I have four. Okay, modulo operator two then it will return the remainder value what is the value zero okay so just asking out of uh, curiosity so if i have is three here what will happen what is the meaning of it you divide four by three and taking the remainder value okay that is the purpose of this modular modulo operator it will divide the first number by the second number and give the answer as an integer number and the remainder value it will return as an outcome okay it will not give the answer it will consider the answer and it will return only the remainder value okay so we don't care about the values we just want to divide by 2 because we want to find odd or even okay so for that we have to divide by 2 okay so you get the point right so 1 and 0 so let's write it again let's x modulo operator 2 okay if the outcome is 1 obviously it is a Odd number. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. Okay. And if the outcome is zero, 
it is an even number good job guys i hope you understood okay now let's go to the programming because we were talking we are going to use only one button okay and for odd number pressings we want to switch on the led and for even number pressing we have to switch off the led yes or not yes on off on off we have seen those in the previous videos i'm not going to repeat the same things again and again let's fr proceed further okay nice so we don't want this uh, we only want the x button scenario pin number three we don't want this pin number five sorry guys so i'm removing pin number five from the code I'm removing this i'm removing this y business all good and we don't care about this y yes sir yes or no i don't care okay now we have let's have only the if x is equal to zero that means if you press the button x becomes zero okay so now how can i find out the button is now being pressed for the for time or even time okay let me try the code and let's see whether you can understand it or not okay <clears throat> i'm going to write an integer called c just some name c is a name right c don't ask me why i'm using c i'm just using it okay and uh, this is the integer that is going to store the value of this whether it is going to be being pressed first time or second time or third time the value is going to be stored in this integer i'm going to store and use it that's all okay what i'm going to do is first i let the user to press the button okay and i digital read the value okay let's say you press the button and the value is zero why it is zero because it is input pull up if you press the button x will be zero now what i will do is let's say the program starts right and i have a c and I, let's assign the value of zero right i'm sorry okay initially i want the value to be zero c values okay i don't care but zero because he didn't even press it so the how many time he has pressed is zero which is the first time is zero obviously right so now i'm going to start first time this loop starts nobody press anything so if condition let's say let's keep the if condition for the moment because we have to use the if condition right to see whether it is pressed or not and do something only if it is pressed we have to do something right so for that we have the if condition whether x is zero or not and you start from line number 12 and ends in line number 14 you know all these things right Let's say the first voice loop iteration, the user is not pressing anything, so nothing will happen. Okay, nothing, nothing has to be happening, right? If the button is not pressed. Now, let's say second, third, button is not pressed, C is always zero, because this will only be here stored, only here, only we are going to repeatedly, repetitively running, right? So nothing goes wrong. So let's say, in a, in a particular iteration of the void loop, the user is pressing the button okay ah then what we will do is i will find okay user has pressed the button so which time first time pressing has happened okay so what should i do i should know this so how do i know i said to you i'm going to keep the which number is number of the time is pressed which is the time pressed uh, turn one no two first or second or third i'm going to store in the c okay now c is zero so if you press it first time, I'm going to make C as 1. Okay. But I'm going to I'm not going to directly assign 1. Instead, I will increment C. Okay, guys. So let's stop it here. Let's continue from the next video. How I'm going to do it.